All right, guys, so this customer brought this three-phase electric motor into our shop, and they said they're going to have to call off their second shift if we can't get this thing working or replace it today. I know a bunch of you guys are going to say, well, they should have had a backup if it's that important. I agree, they should, but they don't. The guy that dropped this thing off, he said that this is on some type of powder coating paint booth, and they need it to move the air around. You can see that fan looks a little unhappy. It looks even more unhappy when we pull that cover off. So this thing was probably making a bunch of noise, and obviously the shaft got extremely hot to go ahead and melt this fan right off the back. So more than likely when we open this opposite drive end up, we're going to find a bad bearing, a bad housing, or a bad shaft, something that's creating all that heat to melt that fan off the backside. But the bad thing is when we find these little copper balls inside, then we know the winding is bad. Now we have to rewind the entire thing. We have to bore and bush that end bell because the end bell fit is bad for the bearing. I can't remember the exact number, but it's something like 87% of electric motor failures, even when they fail electrically, it's because of a prior mechanical fail, exactly like this with having that bearing fail, then the rotor drops and starts hitting the stator laminations and rubbing around inside of that, creating a bunch of friction, and ultimately it damages our winding. You can see the top sticks, how they're yellow on the drive end, and then they're not yellow anymore. There's some bearing debris we pulled out of this thing, because that is where all that rubbing is happening inside of this. Luckily, after we got it all apart, I thought I was going have to work in the weekend but we did have one of these bad boys in stock somewhere on that rack over there cheers guys